Are you looking for a fun way to teach preschool at home? In this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to do it that'll make learning fun and engaging for your child. Hi friend, my name is Micah Klug and I love helping mothers strengthen their home faith and family and I'm so happy you're here today. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing some of the best tips on how to make preschool fun for your child as you teach them at home. So a lot of parents hesitate whether they should teach their children. There are so many different options to teach your preschooler. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the things that I do with my preschooler at home that makes it both fun, cost-effective. As a homeschooling mom of five children, I've taught all of them from home, and each one has a personality as different as you can imagine. And coming from me, I can promise you, any overwhelming feeling is completely normal. You can homeschool your child and you can teach your preschooler. Now, one of the biggest things that I recommend homeschooling moms or just moms in general, one of the things that I recommend doing is play. Your child learns through play, especially sensory activities. And I know that's such a big word, right? When I first, uh, before I had kids, I'd look up sensory activities and I would think these like elaborate boxes and kits and things you had to build and buy. Something as simple as taking your child outside and letting them walk in the grass barefoot. That is a sensory activity. They're exploring their world. Um, letting them blow bubbles, letting them pop bubbles, getting a bowl and putting a little water in it with toys. There are so many ways that you can help your preschooler explore the world around them. Let me know in the comments below if you would like some ideas for sensory playtime for your children. The second thing I recommend is get a really great preschool curriculum. Choosing the right curriculum for your child's learning style is going to be so important as you teach them from home. And I'm not talking about the curriculum where they're gonna learn how to do algebra by the age of three. I'm talking about the curriculum that is fun, one that helps them explore the world around them and allows them to create and understand and play. When my children were all growing up, I used to grab and search and spend so much time on Pinterest trying to find the best printables only to come up with dead end links and printables that just weren't there anymore or clickbait and just, it got overwhelming and I got tired of it. So I ended up creating my own preschool curriculum that I worked with my children and they loved it. They love the progression of it. It starts off simple, it goes through, they play, they color, they understand, they learn, and they explore the world around them. So you'll find a link to that preschool curriculum in the description box below. That way you can grab your own copy to teach your child and all you have to do is print and have your child learn. Everything is already planned out for you and ready to go. The third thing that I recommend is set up a schedule of some kind. Obviously, children need flexibility. You're not gonna have every minute of every day planned. And I think the schedule is more for us moms. We go from a lifestyle of knowing exactly where we're gonna be, when we're gonna be there, to having children who don't believe in clocks and don't have no concept of time. And I know when I had my firstborn, that whole paradigm shift, it turned me on my head. I went from a planner nerd to a what is going on? I have no idea. And oh my goodness, setting a schedule was wonderful. And just have a wake up time. You know, you're gonna wake up at 6.30 or seven, breakfast by eight, let's, you know, play at nine, lunch at noon, nap at one, three o'clock is reading, between five and six, depending on when my husband gets home from work, is dinner, and then seven o'clock is bedtime. And having, that schedule set up in my day to know, okay, this is what we're doing. And you know, I know when to plan play dates. I know when to visit grandparents. I know when we can do church activities. Having that schedule brought more peace of mind to my life, but it also helped my child learn and understand because if they were wanting to go do something, I could say, yes, we will read this book at reading time. Right now we are gonna go visit grandma and help her in the garden or Wow, that would be a fun show to watch. Let's watch that during family movie time on Friday. And teaching them those basic skills and concepts, it helps structure their time and it helps to build those foundation stones and their foundation for having a productive schedule and understanding boundaries 
and knowing when it is appropriate to do certain activities. You're going to love having the opportunity to introduce basic concepts to your child, teaching them their letters, their numbers, the days of the week, and all these things, you can do them in song form. Check out some of our other videos. We have some silly songs and some fun songs about counting by twos, by threes, by fives. And if there's this concept that you're wanting to teach your child, leave it in the comments down below and let me know how I can help you. And just say, hey, I wanna teach my child the days of the week, or hey, I wanna teach my child X, Y, Z. And I'll do what I can to create those videos for you so that way it can be a benefit and a blessing to you as you help educate your children at home. Then the last thing, be patient and yet flexible, especially with yourself. Homeschooling isn't always easy, but it's definitely worth it. Your first year especially is gonna be your hardest, not because your child is hard, it's quite the opposite. It's because you're trying to undo the learning of so many years, especially if you went through a public school like I did. You're basically learning how to ride a bike for the first time or learning how to walk again. You are learning a new set of skills and you're unlearning, or a popular term, unschooling, everything. So that way you can give your child the best advantage to help them learn and grow. Also, don't forget to ask for help. There are so many incredible communities I'm available by email or you can DM me on Instagram and please reach out and know that you are not alone in your homeschooling journey. Be sure to subscribe for more fun family activities. Also, check in the description box below where you'll find free printables, resources, and the preschool curriculum that I use for my children. Take care and we'll talk to you again soon. Cut out that last part and don't need to talk to them soon. I'm not leaving a voicemail. Voicemail, voice message. <laughs>